Hi everyone, Darcy from Tesla Astronaut. Uh, so today we have an FSD drive. Uh, I've managed to get FSD enabled on my vehicle. So what you're going to see is um, if you see two blue lines that are marking the lanes, uh, that will be autopilot. If you see one single blue line in the center of the lane, that would be FSD. In this case, um, it's navigate on autopilot. So what happens is from point A to point B, uh, the vehicle will merge onto the highway and then it will exit the highway uh, by itself. It will make the lane decisions, so on and so forth. Right here, you see AP trying to merge onto, onto the highway. Um, it's slowing down to enter the lane safely. I thought this was done quite well. So to do a lane change, I have to acknowledge the lane change. And that means I have to put on the turn signal and then I have to nudge the steering wheel in the right direction. So again, what I'm doing here is turn signal goes on and then I'll check my blind spots. If it's okay, I'll pull the steering wheel to the left just a bit and um, FSD will take over. So it, it did a nice acceleration here. Uh, there was a vehicle behind on the left. Uh, it sped up and the vehicle behind did not require to slow down. Uh, but if you saw, it actually overtook on the left side. Not the best maneuver, uh, but it's quite human because uh, if you to go back and see, there was a van on the right side of the, 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 the truck earlier on. So there was no way FSD would have been able to do the takeover. did lower the speeds over here before FSD would take uh, the corners uh, just to be safe. I had passengers in the car and I didn't want to put their lives at risk. 
So I slowed down the video here, or rather I put it back to normal speed because uh, I want you to see how FSD tran transitions into autopilot. So from a single blue line, you see it turn into two blue lane lines. AP tries to, or rather FSD tries to steer to the left of the merging lanes, whereas a human driver would have easily straddled both lanes. Take note of the motorbike on the left hand side. So he is on the extreme left of, a, of our lane, right? Um, again, FSD does not like these scenarios. So I took control uh, to, to steer the car to the right hand side of the lane. Now, moving up, you see FSD try to do a maneuver of overtaking the white vehicle on the right and the vehicle on the left is clearly moving not as fast. So, I figured that FSD wouldn't have had enough time to make that maneuver and I took over. Uh, it did not give me the confidence that it could get the job done, hence uh, the reason why I had to disengage and drive the vehicle instead. Now, the upcoming exit um, from the highway is something interesting to watch. Uh, take note of the lane lines and how our lane suddenly becomes one big lane uh, and then it confuses FSD. Now we have to take the filter out of the highway and turn left. Okay, so if you take if you take note, FSD is enabled all the way. Alright, FSD knows that it has to take a left turn. However, once it sees the lane becoming really wide, it starts to panic. You can feel the steering wheel wondering where it wants to go. Then it tries to shift itself to the right, which I don't understand why, because a navigate on autopilot already knows that it has to take this exit. Um, that was something quite interesting. I will try to observe a few more of such incidents. Uh, but for now, I think FSD is still learning the routes here in Singapore, and um, there are quirks where over time, it will get better, and even as a, as a driver, it, it takes some time for, for me to understand how the vehicle wants uh, to do certain maneuvers and it, its common quirks. Over here, we have another merge onto the highway. Uh, this time around, a uh, sorry, FSD wasn't able to engage. Perhaps it was the rain, uh, and it, it, it was obscuring some of, some of the vision. 
Yeah, I'm I'm not too sure why 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 this is hap uh, why this happened, but it was still able to do the lane change. Just that um, navigate on autopilot was no longer available, and I I tried to engage it a few times uh, while driving, uh, but it, it would just prompt me that uh, due to bad weather conditions, I could not activate FSD. That's all for today's uh, video. It's my first one on FSD. Again, thank you everyone for your support and for commenting and for subscribing to the videos. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this and other features or other topics that you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do something during my free time, share, share how, how it's like uh, driving an EV or even a Tesla uh, in, in Singapore. If you like what I'm doing, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Alright, see you guys in the next one. Bye.